Hey guys, just a quick update here. Uh, after posting my survival game mode video uh, a few days ago, I got some feedback saying that it would be really nice if I had a uh, radar that should show the enemies, uh, and I absolutely agreed. Uh, basically, I was struggling a little bit to try to find those enemies in that massive asteroid field, so I did have a minimap actually. I was using the scene capture 2D method but I could not find the way of putting icons on top of that uh, widget. So I looked everywhere for different tutorials uh, and I finally found one that gave me exactly what I needed and you can see it right here. It's from the shooter game tutorial. Uh, if you haven't seen this, I'm gonna put the link on, on the comment on the video and on my thread. Amazing resource, it takes you from zero to full FPS basically on how to do it in UE4 if, you, if you've never um, seen this I would highly recommend that you see it so huge huge thanks to um, to the developer here for sharing all this information so I did uh, follow his tutorial and it is using the HUD class so it's not as flexible as a, as a blueprint widget unfortunately uh, but it works uh, and right now I'm more concerned with, with getting the functionality I need as opposed to you know uh, getting it as pretty as possible because that can also, can also be worked uh, later on so I took this tutorial and then I added a few extra things that he didn't show here like custom icons for different types of enemies, uh, a specific range. So you'll see on the radar when I, when I hit play here, uh, there is a range that you can customize uh, how far do you want the radar to see. Uh, there are specific icons for flying enemies and for ground enemies and the bosses have their own icon. And then for the flying enemies, I'm doing something similar to, uh, you know, somebody posted a video of Elite Dangerous. Um, you know, they have this really cool radar where they show you graphically whether an enemy is above or below you. Now, I, you know, I'm kind of a noob myself, so I don't know exactly how they did it in such a nice way. They have like a little dotted line following the, the sprite. So instead, I did something a little bit basic, but it still gives you the same information, right? So I'm looking at... Um, the vertical distance between the player and the enemy and if the, the enemy is above you I'm using an icon with a blue circle you'll see that in a second and if the enemy is below you I'm using a green circle so let's see let's see how that looks like when I hit play here I'm gonna maximize my screen and you can see here um, the player is the blue little icon the red icons are the flying enemies and right now if I look down you can see these guys are just flying all over the place they have the green circle because they are below me if I just uh, let me just go down and as I'm going down you can see that some of the icons are now turning blue which means these guys are above me so not as fancy as Elite Dangerous but it gives you the information that you need right is the enemy above or below you and how close are they and you can see in the distance we have the turrets and those are the, uh, the little triangles there that you can see. Um, so pretty nifty uh, for the specific purposes of, of knowing where your enemies are. Uh, and you could, you, know, you could enable or disable it. I have a little key here. Uh, so if you wanted to do something like Star Fox, then you don't have to show this while they're doing the, you know, the regular uh, you know, on rails mode. And you can activate it when they get to the all range mode. Or you could just keep it as an option like I have. If you want to display it, you can. If not, uh, you can just hide it. I'm going to swim, swim here a little bit quicker. The bosses themselves have their own um, icon. Again, taking a lot of inspiration from Star Fox. So as soon as this guy gets activated, you can see there's a little bee that pops up in the map. Um, so, bosses have their own icons. Flying enemies have their own icons. And... Um, ground enemies have their own icons um, and if I go to the survival mode here really quickly you'll see how much easier it is to know where the enemies are all right so much easier as opposed to trying to search visually where they are you could you can quickly tell oops, <laughs> you can quickly tell where, where the enemies are and of course they're kind of huddling behind you here Cool. Um, hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I know it's, it's pretty basic, but it's a lot better than what I had before. It's functional. Um, I, I'm going to see if I can add some more features there, but at least for now, the basics are there. So hope you like it, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.